That was fast. That's what she said. Yeah, you can't down thumbs me on a Friday night. That's not how it works. You know, it's like, what'd you do with your Friday night? Oh, I was down thumbs people on YouTube. <laughs> you know, it's more of a reflection on you, especially when I have spent a good part of this year warning people about the hurricane energy starting September 18th through about October 26th. And so after I try to do an optimistic video, because this is stressful trying to keep 112 million people on the East Coast informed about the possibility of a land falling hurricane in that time period, give or take a week or so, you know, as a one man who's trying to help and love everybody in a society that is divided and conquered and people get paid in political points, kisses, hugs, loves, cuddles, and affection for hating people and um, attention. You know, it's been a rough ride for me. And all I'm saying is, yeah, dude, look, I finished my optimistic video and then the NHC went ahead and put a fourth wave on the board. We now have fully formed Tropical Depression 9, who just yesterday, the Euro had two runs showing it hitting New York. And now we have three potential disturbances with like a 50% chance, a 20% chance, and a 10% chance development over the next 48 hours. So, yeah, man, the fact that I've showed you all these videos saying, I'm pretty sure North Carolina, New Jersey, New York, New England are going to get hit this year, barring a major miracle, which is possible, 20% chance not to see. But I think we can all agree this is like Russian roulette with three chambers in the gun, not even counting the fourth chamber. I mean, the oceans are heating up. So let me remind you, doubters, haters, down thumbers, because this is the one year anniversary of Hurricane Florence. I was a week ahead of every single person on the planet saying Hurricane Florence would probably impact the East Coast and everybody need to get ready. And so for a week, I had everybody saying I was crazy and a fear monger and doing it for views. And what do you know? I was totally correct. And then my unofficial partner in weather warring, the king of weather Twitter, cranky weather guy, was the first person on the planet to warn people that Hurricane Michael was a major danger to Florida. All right, so we are a fantastic freaking duo. And so if people are damp thumbs in me, A, it's probably cognitive dissonance. B, you just don't like my voice. C, you're jealous. So yeah, man, damn thumbs away. It's a reflection on you today. So yeah, we're a good cross-reference. Always do your own due diligence and it's your responsibility to make your own calls. But Frank, Cranky and I do the best we can to give you the best information for totally free. And then I get shit when I'm like, hey, uh, it takes contributions, donations to do this. Even though nobody ever yells at politicians, especially the ones who fail at winning and never really provided anything, you know? What's it talking about? Yeah, so five days away from the period I've been talking about all year, we now have a tropical depression that's formed that some models have shown getting to be a Category 4, and that for the last three days, its location projection has totally, absolutely changed. So Mark Suddeth, Hurricane Track, is like, okay, the Florida master, the Florida wave master, da da boo, has a big freaking smiley face. Cyclo Forums, Puerto Rico, has not the twilighted zone, but the merged zone. See that, it's pretty rare to have three freaking tracks merged in one place. I don't know, I've never seen that before, man. Remember kid, there's heroes and there's legends. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. And I am your planetary defense commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7, a legendary kisser. And it's cute how the pros are always like, if the model shows it going out to sea, they're like, it's going out to sea. But if it shows it hitting somewhere, they're like, there are a lot of possibilities this far down the road. But either way, do you like the way that Humberto keeps showing a giant jump towards New York, New England? I don't, especially since it falls right in the range. I mean, technically this will qualify in my range because I said it could go out to sea and that's what we're hoping for, but everybody needs to be ready because uh, 
Saturn goes direct, and I think that's going to mess things up as well. This is quite a tropical weather outlook, says Andy Hazelton. My eyes are hazel, baby. Not him. You know who you are. I got a list of 20 official and unofficial crushers, even though I'm moody. What? Not really clear what's going to come out of this MDR next week. Although it seems fairly likely at least one storm will. So even pros are like, yeah, you got three freaking waves on the board, not counting a tropical depression, who up until 12 hours ago, the Euro and the Euro had been showing it punching into New York and the Euro nails handy. And it even still has that weird curve. So yeah, dude, like, I don't know. Remember, I've been like, yeah, the 18th, we're going to start watching. Woo-hoo. I'm still in a good mood. You want to know why? If I'm lucky, tomorrow night, I get to go see one of my favorite bands of all time, Sponge. So, um, yeah. Uh, and I work really hard. I have a lot of integrity. And my sense of humor is returning. So I'm happy. So we got three waves to watch, a tropical depression, and Zach LeBay is saying, hey, quite a rare stratospheric warming in the observational record ongoing for the south, southern hemisphere. I am a bit surprised there's not more interest. So this is technically a tropical depression, three waves, and a stratospheric warming event to watch event. Ooh. Ada Monzon, 9 p.m. Tranquillos esta. For ondos tropicales están debilis. Eh, no, eh, I won't even try to do the whole thing. I'll roll my R's though. Pro, pro, whatever. Okay, so yeah, you got 30% chance development in the next 40 hours for this one, 50% for this one, 20% for this one. You know, the tropics are picking up as we approach the peak, peak of hurricane season and the 18th period that Thor News has been talking about for a long time. Apparently, they're having a Saturn Awards. Well, I hope Titan wins one as a moon because it's a really badass moon. Weather, tap that ass. Um, we're going to need someone to go direct traffic in the Atlantic before there's a fender bender. And once again, thank you to the person who sent me the acoustic Squire guitar and the person who sent me the Yamaha guitar. They're both fantastic guitars. And when me and my musical compadre, Fitzroy, a week ago, we had a blast. It was great. It was one of the best. It was fantastic. And music is wonderful. And sometimes you can use music to kick hurricanes out to sea. Asterisk. What? The Jonas Brothers are coming to Houston at the end of the month. Um, I'd love to go see them, but as planetary defense commander, I can't really afford a hundred dollar ticket. So I have to win some type of contest. Maybe I should make a lyric video. I don't even know. They write good pop songs. And I got a feeling they're Thor News fans. You guys ever heard my theme song? It's really good, isn't it? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, know what I mean, know what I mean? Yeah, technically, I'm also running for president. Uh, you know, people shit their pants when I mention that. But it's a great way of getting people off my ass when I say, here at Thor News, I li live, survive, thrive on contributions, donations, and they're awesome cards I get in the mail, plus gifts. And so it is the 13th now. And like I said, if I'm correct, around the 18th, Shit is going to get wild, and so, you know, try and time it magically for those days that I need support when me and Cranky Weather Guy are out there losing shit loads of sleep and doing everything we can to be, bring you the best information without hyping it up or fearing it over. Um, and if, if my prediction is correct, then there should be about 112 million people who should appreciate me doing this and having sacrificed everything the last seven years. Uh, to bring you honest weather that I give to you for free at all times. And I really appreciate all the prayers, love, support, even the people who are in a boat like me. They work really hard, barely make ends meet. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate everybody. I love everybody. Uh, some of y'all get on my nerves though. All right. So this is a simple warning, but like, what else do I need to show you? I even need to show you models, dude. You got Tropical Nine, which is supposed to do this and do a weird hitch. And then you got three freaking... Potential hurricanes all pointed towards the United States of America, including Puerto Rico and the Bahamas. So, there you go. And Dan thumbs it if you want. That, that may be the highlight of your Friday. I'm not going to take that away from you. I love you. Okay. Everybody stay cool. And yeah, at this point, I'm accepting a good luck kiss from my crushes. All of them, actually. At least a hug. 
Um, yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's going to get wild. Okay, so everybody, please have a plan. Be prepared. And if there is a major Category 3 or higher hurricane headed your way, I wouldn't stay there. And please take care of your pets, your family, and your poor friends with you. Okay, I love y'all. Let's have a great weekend either way. And if you want to buy me a drink for tomorrow night, uh, you can, I got a PayPal link. I got my address. It's in the information box. Venmo, Cash App. Hell yeah, I do a great job. And literally, since the 25th of August, this is like all I've done. Although last night I did spend time looking up Emma Watson thumb gifts. Hey, man's got to have some type of a life. Peace out. God bless everyone. Stay cool. And I love you.